Okay, so in this video, we will be solving the so-called Josephus problem, and we'll be doing so using a circular linked list as the primary data structure. So what is the Josephus problem? Well, I think the best way to describe it is through an example here. So we have some collection of, let's say, in this case, nodes in a circular linked list. You can see it starts off here and then just moves in kind of a squarish circle here. And basically what we have is we have a step size given to us. And the step size, we start off from the beginning node and we count off a step size. So we go one, two, and then once we hit the step size, we remove that node. So I'm going to denote the node that has been removed in red. So again, we, we move another step size over. So we keep going one, two. So this is the next node to be deleted from this list. And then what we do is we, we keep going on in this way. We'll count this one. Remember, we don't count either of these two red ones though because we've already removed them. So we're going to skip over the red ones. So this is one and this is two. So the step size there, two. So this one gets removed. So the final number that is left over is the solution to the Josephus problem. So the Josephus problem defined is a given list of size n and a step size of size m. So in this case, the size of the list was n, four, and the size of the step was two. So we're going to code up a solution to this using Python and the, the circular linked list class we've defined so far. So let's go ahead and code that up. So already defined a prototype function called Josephus circle, uh, which takes self as a parameter because it's part of the circular linked list class and also step, which is the step size that we were just previously discussing. I also defined a circular linked list object here and then appended the numbers one through four, just like we did in the, uh, in the example. So then I'm calling that function with a step size of two, just like we did. And then I'm going to print out the list that's left over. And the list that's left over will only consist of one element. And that is the solution to the Josephus problem for a given size and a given step. So let's go ahead and do this. In order for us to solve this problem, we're going to tweak this remove function that we coded up in a previous video on circular linked lists. Basically, we're going to tweak this in such a way that will allow us to remove not by the key, but by the node. So we can almost take this entire thing, copy it and paste it, and it will be nearly identical. So I'm going to call this function remove node. So instead of a key, which corresponds to a data element, we're going to give it a node. And then instead of checking for the data in this remove function, I'm going to replace those checks for data with checks for a node. So for instance, here, if self.head.data is equal to key, I'm going to check that to self.head equal to the node that we pass in because we want to delete by the node, not by the data. So another location where we have uh, checking for the data is, let's see, we have it right here. So we're checking if the current.data is equal to the key. So we want to check if the current node in this case is equal to the node that we passed in. So those fixes will um, tweak this function in a way that will allow us to remove a node by specifying the node we want to remove. Let's go ahead and take a look at how that looks. So I'm just going to comment out these two calls here. Uh, we're going to do that on this circular link list that we've defined thus far with the numbers one through four. So let's go ahead and call remove node on the head node of this C list. So for instance, we can say C list dot remove node. And what I want to pass in in this case will be the head of the list. So let's say C list dot head. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and print the uh, list out. So we'll say C list dot print list. So the previous list was one through four, one, two, three, four. We remove the head node in this case. So the resulting list that will be printed out to the screen should be just the list two, three, four. Let's go ahead and verify that. So indeed we see two, three, four. Okay, good. So we have the correct nodes uh, there. So let's go back up to the Josephus circle and think about how we can actually solve this problem. So the way that we're gonna do this is we're going to, let's go actually go back to the slide so we can take a look at this. So we're going to start off our uh, pointer to the head of the list. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to progressively move it along and remove the nodes as we encounter them based on the step size. So for instance, we start off here, the step size is two. So we count one, two. And since this one is uh, equal to the step size, we'll remove this node and then we'll progress counting uh, 
you know, re replacing the step size back to two and then counting back from there on this node. So one, two, removing this node, and then just keep keep going until we get down to one node. So once we get down to one node in the list, that's when we'll exit. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's define current equal to self.head. So we're initially going to set this node equal to the head of the list, and then we're going to have a while loop. While the length of the list is greater than one, we're going to keep going through the list. So let's define a count variable, we'll set it equal to one, and then we'll say while count is not equal to the step size, what we'll do is we'll move the, the node along. So we're here, while the count isn't equal to the step size, we start off at one, because this is the first node we're considering. So we say one, two, it's equal to the step size. So what we do in that case is we remove that node. So while it's not equal to the step, we'll progress the node to the next one, increase the count by one. So once we break out of this second while loop, we, have in, we will be encountering a node that we want to remove. So in this case, we'll use that function that we just created. We'll say self.remove node current. And then we'll say current is equal to current.next to move it along. So we'll remove the node. So we'll remove this node in this case. And then we want to move it on to this next node. So we start on this node for the next one, which is why we're doing this current is equal to current.next after the removal. So one thing that might be helpful to see as we move along in this in this loop is as we remove the nodes, before we remove them, let's actually print out the data element of the node that is to be removed. So for instance, we will print out here, let's say removed, and then we'll have the string of current.data. So right before we remove it, we'll go ahead and print it out to the screen so we see which node is going to be deleted. So we should see something like this, where we start off here, at least in the case that we have for this example, we'll see two, which is the first one to be removed, four, which is the next, and then three. And then those are the only ones that we'll see to be removed. And the linked list at the end of it, the circular linked list, will only have one element, which will be one. So we'll go ahead and print that out. I'm going to uncomment these calls here, and I'm going to remove these calls there. So I'm going to go and, go and write that and then give it a run. So let's see, I forgot to append this onto the string here. So I want to add that over, concatenate that. Let's try that again. So right, so we see that we removed, the first node that we removed is two, the next one is four, and then the, the last one that we removed is three. And then the final list that we're printing out at the end, the final list right here, it just has a single node, which is one, which is the one that we're left over with. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the, in the comment section below. Thank you again for all the support and subscriptions, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.